Hello fashion sewers. In today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to clean your sewing machine. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. The tools that you're going to need for the job are a choice of screwdrivers, big or small depending on your needle plate, your uh, thread plate, uh, a small brush to get rid of all that lint and a soft cloth. And then the most important thing, safety first, is to unplug your sewing machine. Now do remember that all sewing machines are different so I'm going to remove my needle it's just a case of undoing that screw by hand and I've got a snap foot, I'll take that off and then you'll unscrew your needle plate, your stitch plate if you wish to call it, remove that and then once you've done that open the door to reveal the bobbin case and remove your bobbin I've just got my little brush here and I'm going to get into all the little areas around the needle plate and the feed dog, get in between those teeth there, can you see it all coming away, that's what you need to be getting rid of and then take my, my brush behind as far as I can get and just make sure there's nothing hiding or lurking in the back of there quite happy with that just get my cloth give it a good clean yeah and just get the shank of the needle as well the next area to focus on is where the bobbin actually lives and this area is called the hook race so that I've got two levers here and I'm going to pull those away from the bobbin area and then this is what you call the hook race ring I'm going to release that it more or less just flops out and then the hook race itself and we need to make sure that that is all nice and clean. Just use your cloth at this stage. Unless you see any kind of lint that's clogged in there, you can get your brush to it. So it's a case of cleaning those. And then get your brush. And then just get into those little areas to make sure it is all nice and clean and free from lint. I've got a bit there. See? So it can get really trapped in there. I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's okay. Now that I'm happy with all the lint being removed from the bobbin area and it's all nice and clean, and that will help with the performance of my machine and keeping it running really smoothly, I'm now going to assemble the hook race, put that into position, hold the pin, position it to the right hand side of the machine and that should stay in position. It can slip out so do be careful. Just be gentle really. And then I'm going to get the hook race ring and you've got a little pin here that slots into that opening there. And gently put that back in to position. It can be a little bit tricky. It should just go in just as smoothly as that and then position the little clips into place. And that's all done. Now I'm happy with the cleaning of the bobbin area and also the stitch plate. And it's just a, then just a general clean of your sewing machine. Just need to put the screws back in there and just give it a general clean and then you're ready to go. I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. Cleaning your machine and maintaining the performance is a vital process for any fashion sewer, so do do it on a regular basis. More or less, perhaps, depending on the fabric you're also using after every sewing project. But more importantly, make sure you do get your sewing machine and also your serger annually serviced by a reputable sewing machine shop. If you have any questions or queries, please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.